Music artists and entrepreneurs, what's good? My Sarge here from MySarge.com and today we're going to have to take a slight detour, just a slight detour. It seems there was a bit of a reaction after my last video, the one that came out last week about the sound equipment and some of you guys had a little bit of beef with me so looks like there's some things I need to address first. It's alright, it's alright. Things like this are going to happen. They're going to happen. So as always, you don't want to miss this one. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's work. Salutes to that. What I'm not trying to sit here and do is try to act like things in life don't limit you. Because they do. And I'm also not going to try to act like money doesn't matter. Or having money doesn't matter. Because it does. People that have more money... They tend to have more opportunities. They have a higher chance of having their stuff seen because they can throw money at, at different you know, stations, companies, marketing firms, uh, PRs, and stuff like that. Yes, that's true. But that all being said, um, having little to no money is not an excuse. It's not an excuse. Despite all the stuff that I just said, that's no reason for you to not do what you're supposed to be doing. Make good on the things that you do have. Stop looking around you. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop looking at other people's stuff and going, well, I don't have that. I don't have the money for this and I can't do it. Let me give you a quick example real quick. Have you ever been in a situation where there's someone that might have a little bit more money than you? They have more material possessions than you. There are things that they have that you're like, man, I wish I had that. Matter of fact, let me use the iPhone as an example, right? Let's just say there's one of your friends and they got the brand new iPhone. Now, have there been times where your friend with that brand new iPhone, even though it's theirs, half the time they're asking you for help on how to use it? And you're sitting there like, Dang, you would think with all this money you spending on this, this, this new phone or this new laptop or this new business or this new whatever, you would think that you would learn how to use it. Truth is, they just got it to show off. They just got it so they can say that they have the latest and greatest. Again, if you don't have the latest and greatest stuff, it's all good. Not having the latest equipment and gear, that's not an excuse to at least start off with the, the things that are cheaper that you can start off with now and learn how to use. You can even connect with someone that you know that has gear that they may not be using anymore. Take your pride down and ask for help. Who cares if you don't got hundreds of thousands of fans right now? What you could do is stop ignoring the five or six that you have in your local area. Who cares that you're not on big time stages or doing big time showcases? What you could do is take advantage of the open mics in your local area and throwing down, being professional, and giving people uh, a show to remember. Okay, so you don't know anything about copywriting or branding or anything like that. Big deal. You can research it all for free. No, 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 no. I don't think you heard me. For free. The internet literally is the best tool for entrepreneurs, for music artists, for people that are just out there trying to uh, achieve greatness. With the internet, you have Google and YouTube. Google, YouTube. You know how many things you can accomplish, so many, you know how many free resources you can find with just those two alone? Now look, I'm not trying to slaughter everybody. Look, I ain't trying to slay folks with, with what I'm saying right now. Because honestly, like, if you're between the ages of like, Let's say like 10 to like 18, you know, you're okay right now. I'm not really talking to you, especially when it comes to money and things like that. Because, you know, people are going to try to help you out a long way. People still feel sorry for you and things like that. So it's all good. But if you between, if you, matter of fact, if you the age 22 and up, all right, you know, we consider you an adult. Don't nobody feel sorry for you. You know, and, and that's something that you don't really want to hear, but no one feels sorry for you. You know why? Because there are too many free resources out here. We know that you know people. You're just not, you're not using them in the right way. You know, you have resources around you. You have support around you, but you're not taking that support in where it is. It's not all about the money. It's really not all about the money. What are you doing? What are you doing to set yourself on the right path? All right, so I'm going to get to the juicy stuff of this video. The main point of this video is because since people are saying, hey, I can't create music without any you know, high price stuff, I'm coming to prove you wrong. We're going to do the 48-hour challenge. Now, some of you guys are wondering, what in the world is the 48-hour challenge? The 
48 hour challenge is something that I do when I'm on the road. So what ends up happening is I have some buddies of mine. What they do is they send me two pictures. Two pictures of something random. So it could be of a food, movie, an athlete, um, an actor, actress, whatever. Whatever they send me, I have to pick one of those two pictures and then I make a song off of it. Now why is this a big deal? Well, it's a big deal because one, I have 48 hours to do it and also because generally I'm on the road. So I don't have any fancy sound equipment. I don't have my home studio stuff. So I have to just go with what I have, you know, either at my hotel or wherever I'm currently or wherever, you know, place I'm currently at. So I'm going to do this with you guys and I'm going to show you that you don't need anything big time to make music. To get this done, you're just going to need a few things. One, you're going to need a cell phone, all right? Everyone's got one, right? And then next, you're going to need some type of a device, like a computer, a laptop, or iPad. If you don't have one, I guarantee you someone in your friends list has one. And uh, you're also going to need a pair of headphones. That's what we're going to use in this 48-hour challenge. So with some headphones, I'm going to be using Apple headphones in this particular challenge. Again, if you don't have a pair... I guarantee you, if someone in your friends list does. Um, you're going to need a place to record. Well, you're watching this video, so you obviously have a room. And you're going to need something to record in, as in a program. So whether that's GarageBand, uh, FL Studio, Pro Tools, Logic, any type of uh, program that will allow you to record. All right, so like I said, you're going to need to pick a topic. So I'm going to take one particular situation where I got a text message and had two pictures. One was of Beyonce and the other was of Alicia Keys. So I had to make a decision, huh, Beyonce, Alicia Keys. So I started going through their catalog of songs and I decided I wanted to pick Alicia Keys. And I decided to pick the song Know My Name. And for those of you that do not know what song I'm talking about, here's a short clip of it to just jog your memory. Then what was next for me? Well, what was next is I had to make the beat. Now, for those of you that aren't comfortable making uh, or, or just producing, that's okay. If you're a rapper, just go look for free beats with no producer tag. If you're a singer or you're a musician, you can make the melody uh, with your own voice or you can make the melody using your instrument. So in this case, I had to make my own beat. So I went ahead, I took the song. Then I threw some magic on it. I did some chopping of it and flipping it and things like that. So uh, this is what it sounds, this is what it started like. And this is now what it sounds like. All right, so now we gotta add some drums. We gotta add a snare, a kick to make it sound saucy. You know what I mean? So this is how it's gonna sound. All right, so now I got my drums and now I got my little melody. So you put the two together and here's the original. And this is what I have. Sounds good so far, right? All right, but we're not done because we still have to do the most important thing. Well, we have to write a verse, right? So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to write my verse. Hold up a second. Now what I need to do is record that verse. All you need to do is grab your phone and open up your audio recorder. Every single phone out there has an audio recorder. If yours doesn't, that's okay. Just go to your app store and download a free audio recorder. Now you're going to record your verse from your cell phone using the audio recorder. You can have the beat playing in the background so you can stay on beat and just rap or sing to your song. If you want your vocals to be more clear, I would advise that you would plug your headphones into your phone and then record from the headset. Now, after you've done that, all you need to do is transfer your file over to your computer. So you can do this a number of ways. You can email it to yourself or you can connect your phone to your device and then just move it over. Now what you need to do is move your verse or chorus into the program. Now what you'll need to do is align your verse with the way that you sung or rapped to your song. 
And the last part, just a nice little mix and master. So, you know, adjusting levels on your vocals, adding a little delay, a couple effects, whatever you want to do, and voila. Now, let's listen to the final result of your song. Look, I remember when they didn't want to ball with me. Most bras didn't want to get involved with me. And now they want to ball with me. Hope you know that you'll never get a call from me Man, shout out to the fam who had my back from the start Said that always drop bars that be straight from the heart And if you sleeping on me thinking that I'm pillow soft Man, it's time to go and hit them with the mazel tov It's done. You have a song done With virtually no high-priced equipment Just your phone Some headphones And you being creative with creating the music so excuses, I'm really not trying to hear it. To be honest, I'm really not trying to hear it. I don't care what background you're from. I don't care your culture. I don't care. I don't want you to hear it. I don't want to hear you use your gender as an excuse. I don't want to hear you use your race as an excuse, where you grew up, your education. I, I ain't trying to hear any of that. What are you doing? What are you doing to get past the fact that you might be low on money uh, in order to chase your dreams? What are you doing? Look, guys, things are going to happen, and things are going to come up. I mean, it's life. And trust me, I understand it. Believe me when I say that I understand it. But you cannot allow that to stop you if this is really what you want. If it's really something that you want, it's really something that you're passionate about, you're going to be innovative and you're going to try to find new ways to get it done. So get it done. I believe in you guys. You just have to believe in yourself. All right, so I'm going to get off my soapbox. I promise I'm done. I just have one question for y'all. Uh, what did you think? <laughs> did you guys like this video? If so, go ahead and hit that like button. Then hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Also, if you guys have any topics, anything that you want me to talk about, particularly in my videos, be sure to go to the bottom. Blah, 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 bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go to the bottom and leave a comment for your boy so I can add your suggestion to the list ASAP. And... As always, be you, enjoy your life, live authentic. Salute to that. Catch y'all later.